Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be talking about how to frog fish. Like the conditions for frog fishing and other stuff. You need gear and all the other stuff. So to start, I'm going to talk about conditions. Frog fishing, especially for my area, I live in Wisconsin, and right now it's there's still ice on the lakes and ponds, so I can't go fishing. But, uh, a lot of times, summertime bass fishing, the frog will be my go-to bait. This is a pop and pad crasher, and I, I really like this kind of frog because you can, you know, it's popping, it's a popping frog, so you can do that, and you can also just walk it like a regular frog. And there's also, like, other frogs, like... A lot of people think you need an expensive, you know, I think this one was like seven bucks. There's ones that will run you from ten, twelve dollars. But a lot of people think you need a really expensive frog, like right here for instance. I think this one was like three dollars. And I catch lots of bass on this frog. Real cheap one. But today I'm gonna talk about especially the rod and reel. Now, a lot of times I will use like a heavy action rod and then I'll use a higher gear ratio reel, like a seven to one to one, that, that really works good. And the kind of like lake conditions that I'll fish frogs is a lot of coverage, like pads, a lot of brush, um, Shady areas really work good for bass. And a lot of times you'll catch them on like, you know, just on the bank. Because I'm not always fishing on a boat. I don't own a boat, so I rarely am fishing on a boat. Because I'm just, I'm only 13 years old, so I don't own a boat. But I'll just skip this right across the bank. Or I'll skip it under docks. And I'll catch so many fish on these frogs. Now, typically when you have a frog, it'll have these two hooks right here. Hopefully this will focus. But there's two hooks. This one's an old one, so it's kind of rusty, but two hooks. And a lot of the times these, you know, the frogs will be weedless frogs because the hooks are on top of the body instead of under it. Now for weather, I'm going to usually be fishing a frog when it's pretty hot outside. So like I said, summertime works great. And it can be windy, but typically a calm day is best for frog fishing. Now uh, we'll focus on how to fish it. Um, like I said, with this one especially, it you can use it like as like a popper pretty much and just pop it or you just walk it you just have a somewhat slow retrieve when you're reeling it in and you kind of just flick your wrist you know just do a little this and walk it side to side that the bass are really attracted to that and also a lot of people think that like when you're frog fishing you know you want to make it real quiet but if you're slapping that frog out there the bass are going to get attracted to that noise, and that's what's going to make them bite. Now we're going to talk about what kind of color of frog to use. So typically I use just, this is a bullfrog. Any, to tell you the truth, any kind of frog really works that's green around my area up in Wisconsin. Uh, this one, like I said, this one works. Doesn't even have any extra design on it. Real cheap. Like I said, like three, two dollars, something like that. But uh, what I will do when I get frogs, I'm using this one for an example because I just bought this one. I will usually cut the legs right to the head. So I would cut them right there where my thumb is. Because this is just way too long, in, in my opinion. And I know a lot of other YouTubers like Andrew Flair, he does that. And it, it obviously seems to work for him because he catches a lot of frogfish. Okay, so that just about sums up my video. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.